Hi everyone, I wanted to record a little video so that you can see who I am and tell you a little bit about this course and how to navigate the La Lima site. So you should be able to see the La Lima site here and it will look pretty similar to this on your end. Um, I will be publishing it obviously by the time you see this video. So first of all, announcements, right? If you've taken any classes, you know announcements are important. You will see announcements here. I will be sending a lot of announcements. This is a summer course, and so there is a lot to talk about. Um, there's a lot going on throughout the week. So make sure you're keeping up with announcements. You're checking La Lima daily. You're checking your email daily. I will send all announcements as an email as well, unless it's something that's like not quite as important. But for the most part, you should see all announcements as an email and it'll have things like the due date and you know, just some reminders or if something is changing, anything like that. So before you watch this video or after you watch this video, I would like you to go over here to the syllabus, click on the syllabus here and go through the syllabus. We will go through it kind of quickly together. This is my email here, very important. If you do want to meet outside of just emailing each other, if I can't answer your questions very well there, or if you would like to meet anyways, um, we can always set up a Zoom as well. I'll let you go through this whole course, but the some of the highlights, this does run um, just for six weeks. So it is a pretty quick summer course. Um, and, oh, sorry, the pacing of it, is basically like each week is equal to about two to three weeks of a regular semester. So there is a lot going on. Um, so don't fall behind. It's gonna be really, really difficult to catch up or do well in the course. And basically the way it's going to work is that every week is gonna start on Monday and it's gonna end on Sunday. And you're going to have somewhere between two to three modules a week, which means two to three chapters a week and usually. So you'll have Monday modules, those will be due by on Wednesday at 11.55, Wednesday modules will be due on Friday by 11.55 p.m., and Friday modules will be due by Sunday at 11.55 p.m. You are welcome to go through, the course is completely set up. Everything you're going to see this semester is already up online. You're welcome to work ahead. Just keep in mind that we do have at least five discussion forums. In those discussion forums, you do have to respond to another student at least one time. Um, so you can work ahead, but you are going to have to remember to do those the week of so that you don't lose those points, okay? Um, required materials, our textbook here is actually an um, open end resource. So it is completely free. You can go here. I will show you the links also for the book here in just a second. Grades, quizzes are worth 50%. Your forums or discussion boards are worth 20%. And the assignments are worth 30%. <clears throat> um, quizzes, there will be one quiz per chapter, which means that there's going to be on average three quizzes per week. They are going to be one try and 20 minutes long. So don't open up the quiz until you're ready to take it. Don't leave that tab open. Don't go outside of the tab. If you do do that, your time's gonna be running and you are not going to be reset, okay? These quizzes are meant for you to take as a test of how much you learned from the reading and the lecture. So please make sure you are prepared beforehand. <clears throat> Keep in mind, La Lima does have downtime um, every day and one Sunday a month. So just make sure that you're aware of that if that tends to be when you're going to be working. Probably not because it's at weird times, but if you're off island, um, keep that in mind. Discussion forum and response grading criteria and rubrics are all right here. I'm going to let you folks go through them. But basically, you get 15 points for posting your... Um, your post, and then you get five points for a response. They both need to be thoughtful. Your post does need to contain at least two references, um, which we don't need for the first forum where you're doing just an introduction, but all of the other ones need at least two references. <clears throat> they should be like peer reviewed references. So things that you're fi finding through the library website, if you are not sure how to do that, you can always ask me or we can go through that together. But 
Um, if you're using like .org or medical sites or something, uh, I could be sort of lenient and count those as one reference, but that shouldn't be both of your references. You should still have some research within there um, to kind of back up what you're saying about whatever that forum is. Okay. Assignments, um, sorry, this is a typo. There's not 10 homework assignments and they're not worth 20 points each, um, but we do have in general, one to two assignments per week. Um, and their points vary depending on the length of the assignment, but they are, sorry, I realize I did not change this from a previous syllabus, but um, all of your assignments you will see here in just one second. Uh, you can go through the rest of this. One of the important things is here at the end as well is the course schedule. Again, this is subject to change if we, um, if I need it to, but keep looking at La Lima. Um, so you can see here week one, everything we're doing in week one and what is due as well as week two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Going back to La Lima, the easiest way to keep up with everything is honestly going to be this lessons tab. So if you go to the lessons tab here, you'll see week one. If you go to Monday, May 22nd, that's when we're going to be going over the study of life. You can see here we've got chapter one reading, so you can click on that. It'll take you to the reading for that week. It's going nice and slow. Um, for the reading, what I would recommend is I would advise you to first go to the lecture video. You're going to find that on YouTube. Okay. Most lectures are Welcome between to 20 to yeah. 45 minutes long, um, depending on the lecture. This one is 35 minutes long. And uh, you can also turn on closed captioning if you're not quite sure what I'm saying or if that helps you learn, whatever it might be. But I would recommend you first come here, listen to the lecture, take notes, see if you understand it. And then if you're not quite sure about something or if you're really interested in something, then maybe go back to the book and read those certain parts. So you can kind of skim the reading. I'm not super concerned about you reading every little thing in here. The book is open um, for questions and things and quizzes as well, but for the most part, you're going to see stuff that's mentioned in the lecture video. Um, but you can navigate the book here. You can go to different parts of it. You can go to key terms, the summary. If you want to go through their review questions or critical thinking questions, you can do all of that. Okay. Um, and then this is where you'll find all of our lecture videos. This is my YouTube for all of my biology videos. There's other biology courses, so be careful just going to my, my channel and searching for different videos. Um, that might not be super helpful. I would just take it straight from La Lima. Uh, let me see here, I'm trying to move my little bar. Okay, so when you go here, again, the lecture video, I would listen to that first. The lecture slides are here as PDF, so you can follow along, take notes, um, whatever is easiest for you. And then whatever is going to be due for that module or that chapter is also going to be here. So you can see the chapter one assignment, anatomy of an exper experiment. No, normally this would be due on a Wednesday, but I'm giving you till Friday for this one, just to kind of make sure that you're getting into the swing of everything. Um, so keep that in mind. Not all the due dates will be exact, right? Monday's usually due on Wednesday. Wednesday's usually due on Friday. Friday's usually due on Sunday. But some of them might be a little bit later. They will never be earlier than that, okay? The chapter one quiz will be due on Wednesday. The introduction forum post, the discussion post will be due on Friday and your response will be due on Sunday. Keep that in mind for all forums, no matter when the forum starts, like if we start it on Monday, Wednesday or Friday, all of them, your first response will be due by Friday night at 11.55 p.m. If you do not get your response in by that time, you're going to start losing points for being late. By Sunday at 11.55 p.m., you should have had your post in and now your response as well. So post needs to be done by Friday night. Response needs to be done by Sunday. Write that down. Put it in your calendar. Whatever you need to do, that's going to happen every single week. Okay. 
Every single week, you will have a post due by Friday and a response due by Sunday. Don't say I didn't tell you. It's also written everywhere. Every single week, that is going to happen. If you do not post by Sunday night at 11.55 p.m., you will lose all points for it. There's no late points accepted after that time. The only time it's late is between Friday and Sunday for your initial post. Okay. All righty. So that is basically how to navigate Laulima. Um, and like I said, if you go to this lessons, you'll see everything for week one. So we have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then here's a little checklist where you can see what is due. You do not have to use the checklist. I think that it's probably really easy and nice to use, but it's up to you. So you can check them off as you go. So you'll see here, chapter one quiz is due by Wednesday. Once you've done it, you can check it there. Chapter two and three quiz is due by Friday. Introduction forum post is due by Friday. Chapter one assignment is due by Friday. Chapter four and five quiz is due by Sunday. Introduction forum response is due by Sunday. And then we have one more assignment, water properties and tonicity that is due by Sunday. Okay. So like I said, I know it's a lot of work. It's a lot of stuff coming at you really fast. So do not fall behind. Um, everything is important in this class. Obviously, the most points that you're getting is from the quizzes in terms of your grade. It's half of your grade. So I would make sure if you're going to skip something, I wouldn't make it the quizzes. Um, technically, the forums are the least amount of points at 20%, but it's still a significant part of your grade. Okay. It's where I would normally ask for questions, but it's weird talking to myself. So hopefully this is helpful for you. You'll see it laid out week by week. There's week two, three, four, five and six. There is a little bit less going on in week five and six. So you do have that to look forward to. Um, these are potentially harder topics, but a little bit less going on than the other weeks. It's honestly not that much. I know it looks like a lot. I mean, it is a lot, but it's not, not doable. Um, I would recommend setting aside a couple hours, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at least where you would normally say you're in lecture. Lecture is going to take you, let's say, up to 45 minutes. We could just call that an hour. Um, the assignment and the quiz depends on how quick you are. That could take you as little as a half hour. It could take you as much as four hours. So really depends on you and how you work. Um, but most of these things should be able to go at a decent speed for you. Um, so it's not as daunting as it looks once you start to actually look through all of this, okay? This is the easiest way to navigate La Lima. I would just go to the lessons and go week by week and use this checklist to kind of help you stay on top of it all. Um, you can also see discussions here. So we do have a couple extra credit forums that come up at the end and then all of the different forums that we have throughout your time are all posted again. It's going to be the week of you're going to have a post due on Friday and a response due on Sunday. So the first one here is a introduction. This one does not obviously have the um, references that are due with it, but you do need to make sure that you're answering all the questions. And this is just so we can kind of get to know each other. You can get to know some of your other um, classmates in here as well. If you know anyone and you want to get their number or their email or something like that, you can always go ahead and arrange that between you guys, whether that's through email or whatever. Um, I won't take that information, but it is nice to have friends in the course and just people to compare things with and ask questions to. Assignments, you can also see here. Um, you can see every assignment and when it is due. So you can go ahead and put that in your calendar if that's easier for you or just keep track of it here as well as all of the tests and quizzes, all of them and when they are due is also posted here. Keep in mind, they're not necessarily in order. And the order in which we go through the reading is also not in order. So you are gonna start out with chapter one and then we're moving into two, three, four, and five. But after that, we are gonna be jumping around the book. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, just keep following the reading that's on that's listed for each week or each day. 
um, it will tell you what reading there is, but just keep in mind that we're not going to go like from 34 to 35 to 36. We're going to go from like 34 to 38 to 42 back to 10. So we're going to be all over the place. You can also come here to resources where you can find the lecture slides, videos, lessons, the syllabus. And at the end of the course, um, well, actually, I don't know if I'll post the keys, but if it's something that you're interested in learning more about how you miss points or something like that, you can always ask. And then gradebook is here. You can see your grade for every single assignment, extra credit. There is also going to be one extra credit quiz halfway through. Um, and those are the only points for extra credit this semester. So I recommend making sure that you get in on those and then all of the quizzes that you'll see here too. And it should give you your course grade as you're going through as well. Okay. So that's everything. Again, going to the lessons is the easiest thing to do. Um, it will also give you the links for the um, discussion post. That's what this is right here, the introduction. That's the discussion post. And then I do also put up videos a lot of times that kind of help explain um, the material if it's a, an especially complicated subject. Um, I like these videos. They're usually less than 10 minutes long and they're like fun animations. So I would highly recommend watching my lecture videos and probably watching those and then going to the book after that if you are still lost. Okay. Um, email is also here. You can email me or any of the other people in class. Um, discussion and private messages, you can discuss with other people in here. Um, it doesn't, most people don't tend to look at it because you don't get notifications. I don't get notifications either. So if you post here for me, I will not see it. I will try to look at this, but I, reality is I probably won't see it. So make sure that you email me. I do respond to email pretty quickly. Um, and so you have any questions, I will be on that really quickly. Hopefully this was a good overview for you folks. And if you still have questions, please let me know. But again, go to this lessons page and go week by week. Um, there are no late assignments um, accepted, especially during the summer session when everything is going so fast. If you're falling behind, you're not gonna catch back up. So make sure from the very moment that you start it, um, that you're on top of it. If you would like to work ahead, if you wanna do all of this in two weeks, you can do that. Just make sure that you go back and you are responding to the forums um, so that you don't miss those last five points on each of them. Okay, I hope this is gonna be a great summer. Thank you for listening to this. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I will be here for you. I will usually be pretty quick on my email and I'm happy to help. Okay, have a great summer. We'll see you soon.